Thomas Malgrad song for the Michelle Bard song in New York City. Will Smith for president in 2020. That's his mother. Eve. The Michelle Bard song was Eve in the Garden of Even. And Will Smith was Adam and Eve's third and perfect son, Seth. Next to the Michelle Bird song is Sing Bird song, her son, This Life, who is um, technically Will Smith's Seth's brother because they have the same mother, although different lifetimes. Okay, I am starting uh, the end of part three of Eve's take on Jesse Lee Peterson's WND talk because I dropped the phone and it stopped recording. So I'm just going to end that um, video. Reverend Jesse Lee writes, As a pastor and counselor for over 29 years, I can tell you what a just look at the black note, black liberal female run ghettos and so-called families. We've seen horrendous out of wedlock birth rates among black and Hispanic mothers for decades. Women, women of color have raised generations defined by drugs, crime, abortion, and blind dependency. Dependency decoded. D for daughter, E for energy, pen for pen, den for den, N for in, N for inner, C for cities, N for N, E N C Y for encyclopedia. Now I'll read it all together. Daughter energy, pen den, N inner cities in encyclopedia. Okay, so she's writing pen about the inner cities and she has enough to be an encyclopedia. Okay, tweet. Charlie Clark Charlie Kirk at Charlie Kirk the second. It's tragic that eight people were shot in Texas. The media is widely reporting on it. Democrats are already pushing gun control because of it. But 25 were shot in Chicago this weekend and seven were killed. And the media is completely silent about it. Why? It doesn't fit their narrative. And then another guy wrote, President Trump tweeted about the Texas massacre, but he didn't tweet about the 25 shot in Chicago. What did I say? Will Smith for President 2020. I'll bet Will Smith would deal with the black on black crime. Tweet from Rob a pirate white. I live in Chicago. This crap happens every single weekend and no one does a thing about it. And the reason the local and state politicians do nothing is because it doesn't fit their narrative. He agrees with Charlie Kirk and won't advance their cause. I even hope the Chicago and elsewhere gang members get talk and share therapy. I hope gang members can do talk and share therapy and get to know themselves and control themselves and do positive actions giving up negativity. Okay, so that is my hope. Now let's begin the new topic. Let's see, I got a video to tell you about let me let me just move this over here. Okay, here we go. New video to tell you about. Tucker responds to backlash 
over South Africa report. This is on Fox News. This is very good. Tucker doesn't mince words. He speaks his mind and heart. Video. Tucker to critics. We are not intimidated. That's on Fox News. That's a good one, too. Now, Tucker Carlson was Eve's son and his father was Abraham Lincoln, uh, Anthony Tony Robbins. Okay. Another video. Sidney Powell and General Flynn and Deep State, DOJ, CIA. What's this word? Declare war on Mueller's. They fight Deep State back at Inspo News. Another video. This is a good one too. Scavalans Channel. S K A V L A N Channel. Interview with the most dangerous man in America said, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Whistleblower Daniel Ellsberg. I think they didn't have Ellsberg. I think that's Ellsberg. He knows that the world can change very quickly. I hope the world does change very quickly and the holy royal family of saints, geniuses, and humans take over because they love people and um, they're very confident, very efficient. I also hope all nuclear weapons are destroyed very quickly and never again hurt any person or anything. Although I understand it was important to save lives to use it during World War II. I understand now. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about future. Uh, well, um, ominous. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Ominous, decoded. O for ordered, minnow for minnow, us for us, and atomic, a must bomb. Bomb decoded, bomb ordered, mild red, alert. Michael Bublé. Minnow Einstein ordered us at Old Minnow. Us, us is Adam and Eve. Peaceful explosion, orgasm. G A N T. Dismantling. That's what that is. Dismantling nuclear bombs. Bublé, Bob Wills, Eve's energy. That's not, that's confusing, isn't it? Anyway, so here we have Adam and Eve, peaceful explosion, is an orgasm. So we want a peaceful dismantling of nuclear bombs. Okay. And I think it's a bomb, a uh, nuclear bomb, for people to realize how important it is that uh, women get to have orgasms, just like men get to have orgasms. Mainstream includes you inside science.org. This is excerpts from this article, The Science of Dismantling a Nuclear Bomb. Who's responsible for nuclear weapons? Hitler? Einstein? Wanted to f defend against Hitler's making a bomb? And he talked Roosevelt and I, and into uh, creating a bomb? Or into having his people create a bomb? President Franklin Roosevelt is responsible for the nuclear weapon? And President Harry S. Truman 
who ordered the uh, dropping of the bomb in order to save lives, about 170 million lives, he said. I have that proof in other videos. Negotiations on nuclear disarmament are politically tricky, but when agreements are reached, scientists and engineers can provide a variety of tools to take apart some of humanity's most deadly weapons and store or repurpose the dangerous nuclear weapons. I think they should repurpose. Okay, I don't know where, where's my insert. I had an insert. I don't know where it is. Life is what you believe. From as a child, I believed starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I would see Venus, Eve, Menel, is Venus, Eve, Eve, Eve. Venus is the daughter of the sun, the star of our solar system. To wish is to hope. To hope is to ask. When Mino Venus asked her for the father who was Who was, uh, did not, I don't know where I'm, I'm lost. Who was, for the father, anyway, she asked her for the father, who was not visible, because she did not know her father. She did not know her father was the sun, the star, and was who she was asking. She just thought getting her hopes by wishing on a star was some sort of magic. Okay, I need to write the word hopes. Getting her hopes. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying that Venus Minnow Eve wished on a star as a little girl. She didn't know she was wishing. She didn't know her father was a star, the sun, and that uh, she was wishing to him. That's why she got a wish. She thought it was true for everybody, that anybody could wish and get their wish come true. Because that's the way the star song went. Okay, so life is what you believe. From as a child, I believed starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I would, I wish I may, I wish I might get the wish I wish tonight. The energy of the earth comes from what Eve collected in her unconscious during her past lifetimes. The will that is energized, energy's eyes, that physicalizes Eve's energy, is atoms with the spark, fire, heat of the sun. Let's see, invisible because she did not know. Oh, that's the other part. I read that already. Okay. Okay, so. Venus Minnow also believed the Disney song When You Wish Upon a Star makes no difference who you are. Okay, but the real way it does is when you wish upon a star makes so much difference who you are. If you're the star's daughter, in fact, the son said to me, I'm his star. So if you're the star, star, anything your heart desires, anything you're passionate about will come to you. 
I believed it was possible for Stevie Wonder to make love to me. The snake and Judas, Stevie Wonder, both loved Eve and Mary Magdalene, Jesus Christ's wife. If you want to know what would be the result of Stevie Wonder making love to you, a daughter, Robin Michelle, Birdsong will be born to you. And that's what happened. Azure, your youngest child, was born to you again. So, so I'm saying that Robin is Azure. So she was born to me when I was Eve in the Garden of Eden, and she was born to me as Robin Birdsong. When I wondered, when I picked Stevie Wonder as a person to make love to me. So the last shall be first because Azure was a baby girl. She was the last, yet she was the first born girl to me this life. Foretell, foretold in King James Version of the Bible in Matthew 26:16, Robin Birdsong is King James reborn. So she foretold this when she was King James. She foretold her own destiny. If you think Isaiah Allen Jackson is the perfect mate for you, as I did think this, you mate in the invisible realm in your imagination at the time you realize you real alive. He is perfect for you, and you conceive a child. Let me put an there. You conceive a child. A1, your first girl child from when you had been Eve in the Garden of Even. Okay, can we decode even? Energy. Even energy, Venus, first Adam and Eve, then under Sun, United States. Blessed event. Okay, I'll see how it goes. Even energy, Venus, blessed event. First to Adam came a one, the first girl in the world. Adam and Eve, then under the sun, and then in the United States she was a blessed. She's a blessed event because she was immaculately conceived. So she's born, A1 is born to you as Melanie Lynn Spear, meaning me, your baby girl of this life, King James Version. So the last, Azor, shall be the first, Robin. Blessed event, <laughs> Immaculate Conception, Michelle Birdsong, and the first, Robin Michelle Birdsong, and the first, A1, she was the first in the garden, is the last, Melanie Lynn Spear. In this life, she's my baby daughter.